fans, welcome to Tech, the ARK Survival Evolve Guide to every single engram in the game. I'm going to be showing you level by level what the engrams do, what uses they are and whether or not you really need them. So today we're at a tech studio on the island. We're going to be going through the vanilla arc engrams. In the future I will be covering primitive plus engrams as well as scorched earth. So here we are guys in the tech studio created by Mr. Whitey, one of my good admins and a fellow YouTuber. Go and check out his channel. He has built this amazing studio for me. Right, today though, we're going to concentrate. We're going to get this on the road. We're going to be taking a look at all the engrams levels 0 to 5. Okay, so this is the engram screen. This is how you unlock all the items that you want to use in Ark Survival Evolved. I'm currently level 62, and if we take a look at all the engrams, you can see I've got loads to unlock. But which ones do you need to unlock? Which ones are useful? You can see all these advanced engrams are locked behind certain levels. So you need level 80 to get the flap jackets, or you need level 80 to get a platform saddle for your quets. So when you first start the game, you want to get to level 5 as quickly as you can. Which really won't be that difficult. Just gather lots of materials. Maybe hunt a few smaller dinosaurs and you'll get to level 5 within 10 minutes. So you're given very basic things like a stone pick when you first start the game. But now you can choose what you actually want to unlock. Remember, you can't unlock every single engram unless you cheat. So if you're doing this on a PvP or an official server, you need to be careful. So let's start off, let's go through every single engram. We're starting off with the campfire. You'd think it's very simple and basic, but the campfire can do loads of things. Early on you're going to need to eat food, and it's better that it's cooked. Your campfire is your number one source for this. So it's pretty basic, you need lots of wood or thatch. You can also use spark powder. Put your wood in and then simply put some meat. And then click on here to light the fire. And within minutes you can have lovely steak ready to eat. Food also decomposes a lot slower when you actually cook it. And of course it fills up your hunger bar much quicker and better. The other byproducts of burning wood of course is charcoal. You're going to need charcoal for ammunition later on. So the campfire is pretty basic, but along the lines you're going to need it to unlock much more advanced materials and crafting stations. To unlock a cooking pot, industrial grill, refining forge and a stone fireplace, you need one of these bad boys. It is a central part of Ark Survival Evolve early on in the game. Now we're taking a look at the stone hatchet, the next real tool you're going to need after the stone pick. When you use the stone hatchet on a tree, you will gain more wood than you do using a pick. You'll also get more hides when you're harvesting from a creature. You'll also get more stone than flint from rocks whenever you use a stone hatchet. They can of course be used for weapons as you saw me taking down the ants just now. And if you want the next upgrade, the metal hatchet, then obviously you need to unlock the stone hatchet. Next up we have the mighty club. You're going to need the club to knock out early early game dinosaurs and creatures. It can be useful against players as well but ideally you want to upgrade to better weapons as soon as you can. Your club will deal 5 damage to every creature it hits. No matter what armour it's wearing if it's a player it will still deal the same amount of damage. The club deals torpor damage so it's very useful for taming creatures as well. It does 18 points of torpor damage to every creature you hit, regardless of what that creature is. And of course, the higher level club you have, like Ascendant or Mastercraft, the more damage and the more torpor damage it does. And there you go. I took out the dodo which has glitched into the building. The club is also actually very useful for taking out caracous or penguins. When you use a club on a dead caracou, you will get more organic polymer. And organic polymer is very hard to resource. So if you do take out any of the penguins, make sure you've got a club handy. Next up we have the humble spear. 
There you go. You can attack people with two ways with a spear. Simply lunging with the right trigger or bumper. Or hold the left trigger or left L2 and then release. And you can quickly make someone a shish kebab. Unfortunately, the spear can break very easily. You can pick up spears once they're thrown, as long as they haven't broken when you've used them. You can also use it to harvest dead creatures. You'll get more meat than hide when harvesting a dead creature with a spear. So if you're going to make a spear, make sure you've got at least 10 to 20 of them ready to take on any creatures or players you come across. Early game weapon it is one of the crucial ones you're going to need. Next up we have notes. You can leave little love letters in Ark Survival Evolved. Or you can use them to craft recipes in a cooking pot to make your own food. You can use up to 200 characters on a note and you can use it in storage chests for other people to read. A note is a very quick and cheap way to get XP. The materials needed for it are really small, so you can craft lots of notes and you'll gain lots of experience points. You just need thatch and fibre. But they really come into their own once you unlock the cooking pot. We're going to go over that in another episode. Now it's time to talk about armour. You could choose to run around naked like Chris, my helper here today, or you can make yourself decent and put on some cloth armour. So cloth armour is going to be your first steps into protecting yourself against weather and attacks. Cloth armour reduces the effects of both hot and cold temperatures. So cloth armour is very useful no matter what biome you're in. All the other armours that you're going to wear will have properties that will either make you too hot or too cold. So cloth is an alternative for them purposes. You can get cloth pants, cloth shirt, cloth gloves, cloth boots and cloth hat. It will cost you 15 engram points to unlock the whole set. A quick XP tip early on in the game is make lots and lots of cloth hats. They're relatively simple to make and they will give you lots of XP. Right. So when you start the game you start with a zero rating in armour. By putting on a cloth hat you're going to increase it by 10. By adding the shirt you increase it by 20. And by adding the cloth gloves you increase it by 30 and so on and so forth. So that gives you a 50 rating when you have all cloth armour. Early on in the game it's important that you wear lots of cloth armour. It can help reduce the damage you take from creatures and other players. But as soon as you can you do need to upgrade to either hide or something even better. Next we're going to take a look at thatch, your very first building material. You can unlock the thatch foundations, the thatch roof, thatch door frame, thatch wall, thatch door. This could be very well the first base you make will be out of thatch. So you can see here I'm placing thatch foundations down. You need to place foundations whenever you're building something. You can use just pillars but it's best to have a nice foundation flat surface. And then simply put your walls alongside it. This will give you rudimentary cover and it will also give you slight protection against creatures and players. And there you go, you can even create your own little thatch door. There are many building structures in Ark Survival Evolved, that's what makes the game so great for base building. Thatch is the very basic and simplest form. You can cut a certain areas of the thatch to make it whatever colour you want. But other than a starter base, you'll need to progress quickly to wood, stone or metal. Thatch has one other use, it can regulate your temperature inside, just like a normal building would. Next up we've got the water skin. Next up you've got the water skin. Now you can get water from lots and lots of sources in Ark Survival Evolved, but especially on the Scorched Earth map you can run out of water really quickly. So having a water skin is vital. You can dehydrate from not having enough water and it can actually kill you over time. One quick tip about water skins is you can actually fill them up in rain. Just highlight the water skin and then press the RT or R2 button at the same time and you can see there's a very faint blue line underneath it. That means it's now full. 
Once you get a cooking pot, you can put the water skin inside it. If you place some berries, some charcoal, wood and a water skin in a cooking pot, you can make your own yellow coloured dye. And if you put different berries in there, you'll get different colours. But you do need to use the water skin. But you do need to fill the water skin every time. So it's definitely worth having a tap nearby or a good source of water. Not only can you make dye, you have to make kibble this way too. So water skins really are invaluable. Next up, we're looking at signs. To be fair, a wooden sign's pretty explanatory. I don't think I have to do too much with it. Other than tell you there are different signs you can unlock. The first one you can unlock is the basic wooden sign. But after that, along the way, you can also unlock a wooden wall sign. You can also make a wooden billboard and you can again make these out of metal too. Their uses are strictly just for fun or maybe directional. And there you go, a wooden sign explained. The last one I'm going to be looking at in this video of tech is the Hyde sleeping bag. The Hyde sleeping bag is a one use spawn point. If you've got a base you need to upgrade to a simple bed as quickly as you can. But these are very useful if you're going adventuring. Simply place one down and you've got a temporary spawn point. After you've respawned from dying, the hide sleeping bag will disappear. You can pick up your sleeping bags if you don't want to have it in that location anymore. You can also rename it as well. So if you've got lots of save points on the map, you'll know where it is. You can use these as a form of fast travel as well. But in Ark Survival Evolved, if you use anything like this or a bed to fast travel, you will drop all your items. So really only use a sleeping bag if you're off on an adventure and you need a quick temporary spot to respawn in case you've been killed and you need to get your stuff back. So that is the first episode of Tech completed and done. I've gone through a lot of the most crucial engrams you're going to need when you first start Ark Survival Evolved. Stay tuned for the next episode where I'll go through the rest of the engrams level 0 to 5. And in future episodes I'll be going through every single engram. Not just the vanilla arc, scorched earth and primitive plus as well. I'm Jay Plays Games. Go and check out all my other guides. If you need any help on Art Survival Evolved, I've got it covered. Let me know in the comments section what's your favourite item, what ones don't you ever touch. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.